Christian marriage in Uganda, as in, as in fact is the case around the world, is under threat. And rather than just defend Christian marriage, we want to go forward and promote it. Several reports have indicated an increase in the number of cases of divorce, with several couples opting for either cohabitation or separation. 7% of couples, which translates to about 370,000 people, experience divorce and separation every four years, a move that has left many marriages in the intensive care situation. The vice is attributed to several reasons, notwithstanding financial instability, infidelity, sexual differences, lack of communication and attention, among others. It's a partnership that has to be built by two people, and um, you've heard that also it takes two to tango, but it also takes two to build. Justice Mike Chibita, the Justice of the Supreme Court, advised couples to undertake legal marriages aware of legal benefits and implications, and be slow on issues of DNA to avoid unnecessary separation. That you can actually raise children or other people who are not biologically yours. And the thing I was sounding out that uh, we must have a legal infrastructure before we rush into DNA. Chibita revealed that the judiciary is trying to harmonize the so many existing laws governing marriages, although still challenged by different religious beliefs. Because some of these laws are diametrically opposed. Some are polygamous, potentially. Some are monogamous, strictly. Dr. Eva Zatrine, the guest speaker, says there is much fear of the failing marriages with over 70% of couples complaining of unhappiness. People even who are in marriages, 77% are saying they are miserable, they are unhappy. You see? So you have those breaking and those hanging in there. And so only 11% say they are happily married. As a matter of Effort. We want to try and make sure that we promote happy marriages. The Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, His Grace Bishop Paul Semogere, expressed concern that many people have turned marriage into a material acquisition institution. Is that people, marriage people, take it seriously as a gift from God. Don't misuse it. Don't mishandle this gift because it comes from God. And God will say, I gave you a gift. How did you treat this gift? You have a beautiful lady and you start uh, abusing her uh, physically, uh, that is God's gift that you should take. If the husband is... The conference was attended by, among others, married couples, marriage mentors, religious leaders, notably the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, His Grace Bishop Paul Semogerere, and Metropolitan Jeronimus Musei, Susan Naung and Stephen Kalisha, reporting for ABC TV.